This is Cameron Chai from azonano.com and I'm bringing you another episode of azonano.com TV. Today I'm talking to Dr. Sang El Park from Park Systems and he's going to show us their XZ100 AFM system. Hi, uh, my name is Sang El Park. Uh, today I'd like to uh, uh, introduce our new AFM. But before I do that, uh, let me tell you briefly about my background. Uh, I uh, was uh, working at Stanford University, uh, Professor Carol Quaid's lab, where the AFM was invented. And actually, I was the first who commercialized the AFM. And the company name was Park Scientific Instrument. And I sold the company and I went back to Korea and started the second company called Park Systems now. And uh, we make a more advanced version of AFM. Okay, let me show you how our new AFM works. Our new AFM XE100 has a very different uh, configuration. We have separated XY scanner, which scans the sample in horizontal direction only, and we have another Z axis uh, uh, scanner, which moves the probe in vertical direction only. In that way, we can achieve very flat scan. Uh, we ca the outer plane motion is less than one nanometer when we scan about 100 by 100 micrometer in X and Y. The Z axis uh, scanner has very high scan uh, uh, speed, uh, very high uh, solver bandwidth, so we can achieve true non-contact mode, which is a far superior mode than a conventional tapping mode. So with this new uh, non-contact mode, we don't get into a, a repulsive force region between tip and the sample. So the tip do not actually disturb the sample. Tip do not wear, so we can preserve the tip and the sample. In that way, we can achieve much higher resolution in uh, AFM imaging. And this AFM is truly a new generation AFM. It can uh, produce much uh, accurate image, higher resolution image, and easy of use. And uh, what, what application do people you typically use uh, the, the XE100 AFM for? Oh, it is general purpose AFM. So we can characterize all kind of sample and uh, it can measure the properties, electrical properties, magnetic properties, mechanical property and optical properties as well. And plus uh, the beauty of this system is it has a very high reproducibility. Once you measure it, you can reproduce it again. Uh, many AFM uh, which use piezo tube uh, uh, scanner do not have such high uh, reproducibility because of the background curvature and the scanner or creep and uh, other artifacts you cannot guarantee whether it is uh, 10 nanometer or 9.9 .9 nanometer. But our AFM can tell you exact numbers all the time, no matter how you measure it. And your system can also analyze biological systems? Yes, we have another uh, system called XE Bio, which sits on top of an inverted optical microscope. So it's a fully integrated uh, AFM uh, with optical microscope all features, plus we have scanning ion conductance microscope uh, in addition to AFM. With the scanning ion conductance microscope, we use uh, nano pipette, glass pipette, and uh, instead of uh, uh, cantilever based probe, and with uh, SICM, we can uh, measure uh, various uh, 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 electrophysiologies like a patch clamp technique. Uh, so it will open a new opportunity for nanobiologists. Today I do not have the instrument, but uh, you can visit our website and see the more information. Is that, is that technology unique to Park? Uh, yes, as far as I know, we are the only one who commercialized it uh, in uh, uh, integrated package uh, uh, with the inverted optical microscope and AFM as well. So, yes, a a our XE uh, Bio is the only one who has the full features uh, of a uh, scanning probe for biologists. 
All right, Sangil, thank you very much for telling us about uh, Park Systems and your instruments. And obviously, if anybody wants more information, they can go to your website, which is www.parkafm.com. Thank you very much.